Hi, I'm Gretchen Rivas with Relax Massage Therapy and today we're going to talk about Swedish massage for the arm. For this you will need oil, a massage table, and workspace. Whenever you're working on the arm, you always want to start with a little bit of oil. You'll use more oil if the person has more body hair. A lot of it depends on their skin type. If they're really dry, you might need a little bit more. But you always want to use some effleurage strokes and apply the oil all over the arm first. Warm up the tissue. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to lift the arm back over. I stand over here when I do this, but for purposes of the camera, we can't do all that today. But I like to lift this back because this kind of opens up the shoulder area. You can stroke down the arm, kind of milk it down this way a little bit and work the arm and the bicep and the tricep here when you're doing that. You can also come out to the side a little bit and do that. Another nice thing is to push it back here. This opens up this shoulder area of the arm and then stroke back down through here. Now when you're working down here, what feels really good, especially for people that are on the computer a lot, is when you take your thumbs and get right in between these two arm bones feels really nice and just kind of massage right in between them and open that up and turn the arm and you can stroke down through here do all these arm muscles you can use a little bit of cross fiber break things up some if you need to that always feels good and then go on down in and do your hand from there and then when you're finished with the hand and the arm you always want to finish with some nice finishing effleurage strokes so that the person feels connected and whole. And that's how you do Swedish massage for the arm.